Hello guys, welcome back to Kids Coding Playground. So today we are working on a, another algorithm uh, project. It's called pal palindrome. So basically, it's basically it's like a a phrase, a word, or a number that you know uh, front reading from the front and the back is the same. So uh, we're gonna try to write a uh, algorithm in uh, Scratch that will detect that if the word or phrase or number is a palindrome or not. Okay, so let's begin. All right, so we're going to create some variable. So let's create a bunch of variable that we need for this uh, project. So let's call uh, each character. So this will help us to uh, basically, like if people write a phrase, then we're going to try to take out the space in between. So we're going to have to write a, um, a uh, custom block to uh, remove spaces. So that's why we need that. Next, we're going to create one more variable. We're going to create all the variable up front so it's easier for kids to follow. So next one is uh, index. Okay. Uh, next is a uh, linked. So the link we're going to be using to detect, you know, the, the link of the, uh, the word or the phrase or number that's coming in from the player input. And then we're going to say player input without space okay without spaces so this is uh after we remove the space and we're gonna put the word inside here without spaces all right next we're gonna go with um position one and another one called position two so this uh, we'll use to check the uh the pa uh, the word is a palindrome or not okay all right, we'll save this. So I'll open up all my variable for now so that it's easier to see. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to load in a backdrop. So I created a backdrop that has some of the palindrome words. So, all right, so let me delete this. So as you can see, these are palindrome words. So Eve, right, is backward. You can read it as Eve. Uh, kayak, same thing right race car same thing uh, taco cat same thing right so uh, you see how taco cat has space here these have some of the spaces so we're only taking care of spaces but not like special character like like uh, you know like uh, semicolon or, or or colon or or um, apostrophe or comma we're not taking care of those but you can write the code to do that as well but all right, so we're only taking care of the spaces. So we're going to try to remove the space so that we can compare each of the letters. So like, let's say this S and S is the same, right? T and T is the same, E and E is the same, P and P is the same. So you can see, you can reverse this and it will still read the same way. Step not on pets, okay? All right, so let's get going to the code. Okay, so we begin. So we have the backdrop where you can see we have uh, some of the uh, palindrome words right here. Okay, so let's go to make sure you're on the sprite cat. Okay, so let's let's you can use any cat you want. You can uh, use the flying cat or whatever. I think in the in the application, I mean, when I for my project earlier, I have the flying cat actually. So uh, let's use the flying cat. Okay. All right, so we're gonna use this flying cat. So we're gonna delete this scratch cat. So we're gonna use the flying cat, and then we can rotate him around, put him in the middle here, so that can that doesn't flip over. Okay, so we have the flying cat. Uh, we can change this costume. We'll use this costume. We'll make him one fifty. Okay. All right. So this is our cat. We're gonna use for the uh, uh, palindrome code. Okay, so make sure you're on the cat and don't code it in the backdrop. So let's create a new block. Make a my block. Uh, we're going to call it remove spaces. Okay, and then we'll take one input. Okay, so this is called input. And say okay. So right now, uh, I'm only concerning about removing spaces between the word, like let's say uh, UFO space tofu right so we need to remove the space when we're comparing the words so make sure that so they will compare correctly so let's say u and u is the same you see f and f is the same o and o is the same and t is in the middle so if you flip it over you can still read it as ufo tofu right 
All right, so this will remove spaces. So we're only in, uh, doing spaces, but actually you can remove like commas or, or um, the um, apostrophe or something like that. You know, if they have something like that, you can remove that too. But right now I'm just removing spaces, okay? Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna say set. So I'm gonna set the index to one. So send scratch begin the index one unlike uh you know java other language they begin at zero okay so next we are going to set the player input without spaces so that one you have to put the backspace to delete the zero so make sure you have nothing in there so next part we're going to go to control we're going to get a loop so we're going to repeat the number of times so here we are going to repeat the number of times the length of the input so basically if there's 10 letter we are going to repeat 10 times okay all right so next we're gonna what we're going to do is we're gonna try to get each character out of the uh of the word or the phrase or number and we're gonna try to uh, see if it's a spaces or not okay so we're gonna go back to here when i get this so this is like letter of one if you can see letter one of apple is a right two is p right so what we're going to do is we're going to put the index here and then we're going to put the input here and we are going to put the index variable here okay so each time the loop go through we're going to increase the index and then we'll add one to it so we can get the next letter so next we're going to check so if so we're going to check if it's not spaces so we're going to say equal and then we're gonna say each character and then here make sure you put a space in your space keyboard so if you can see I have a little space here okay all right so next we are going to say um, set uh, set player uh, input without spaces so let me zoom back out a little bit okay here we're gonna join use a join operator so we are going to join the input with our spaces in the beginning the first time go around we're going to be blank so blank is going to join with the first letter which is whatever letter the player types in right so after that every time it go through we're going to check if it's not a space then it will add it to this uh, word here and next we're going to increase the counter so change the counter uh, the index by one so it will pick up the next letter so I'll show you guys how that work later okay so so far we have this code here so if you miss anything just pause and write that down okay so next we're gonna code the bottom here okay so we're in the scratch cat so we're gonna make every time it clicks on it we're gonna do the code okay so when uh, when the key is pressed the space I mean the uh, the sprite key is pressed we are going to ask a question okay and what we're going to do is we're going to say um, enter a number or a phrase. All right, so it will check the penundrum for you. So next we're going to call the remove spaces here. So this will call the, uh, the custom block what we just created up front. And we're going to put in the answer. So whatever player type in, it will put the answer in okay so now let's just test it out real quick so if i click on this little cat here this is the enter phrase let me try to type in ufo tofu right i have a spaces here right here you can see All right I, I guess it doesn't show very well okay so if you can see uh, maybe it'll just zoom in so ufo tofu right so when i enter this you can see that it created the uh it took out the spaces of ufo tofu right so that's what we did so it go through each of the uh, uh letter and then it take out the spaces so we're going to try again let's say step not on pets right so you can see step not on pets they all remove all the spaces okay so so far you guys understand the remove space uh um, function so now we're going to go check the uh the the phrase or the number or word is it a palindrome or not okay so next that's it set uh we're gonna set the length so basically how how big this uh, word is okay i'm gonna say set the length 
um, okay and we're gonna put in the uh, player input without spaces so that one is without the spaces right so uh, we can compare next we're gonna say set the uh, position one. Oh, I spell position wrong oh okay let me fix that rename miss I here okay position one so position one we're gonna begin at one okay and then position two uh, we are going to get the uh, length of the you can use this actually because I already did that so let's use that so use the length okay so position two is the length whatever the uh, how, uh, you know you have 10 letters so it will be 10 nine letter will be nine okay all right so what we ne do next is we're gonna say repeat okay so we are going to divide the uh, uh, divide the uh, the word in the half and then we're gonna try to compare the left side and the right side all together at one time okay so now what we're going to do is um, okay so what we're going to do is we're going to get this um, divide operator here and we are going to put in the length and divide by two so we're going to compare half of it so from the left side comparing to the right side okay and we are going to put a if condition inside here so in this if condition we are going to compare if the letter are not the same so if it's not the same we're going to stop immediately okay even if one letter is not the same it's not a palindrome okay so what we're going to do is we're going to use this not here and then we are going to compare the equal okay so we're going to use the equal sign put that here and then we're going to use something called the letter right just like how we do earlier looking for the um, the words so we're going to put letter and then duplicate one more time into this one okay oops sorry okay so we're going to compare okay the position okay we're going to put this here without space put put this one here okay okay so let's zoom back out a little bit okay so basically we are comparing the first letter and the last letter so first position we're gonna put the first position here and then the set position 2 which is the last position okay all right so this is how it looks like so we're gonna repeat uh, divide by 2 so we're gonna compare half of it from the left side comparing to the right side okay each of the letter and then keep going okay if they are not the same uh, we're gonna say say so we're gonna put say here not with a timer so that it can show up easily people can see and we're gonna use to join here let's use to join so that we can put a quote in between okay so he's saying say and then we can put a quote oops put a quote here okay and then we're gonna say answer so whatever user type in we don't want to take this one because this one doesn't have a spaces right we want to see what the player type in so we're going to use the answer and here we're going to put a quote here and then a space here say is not a palindrome okay and then if it's not a palindrome we're going to stop so we don't need to continue okay so we're going to say stop stop the script okay otherwise we are going to increase the counter so we're gonna say change uh, here gonna say change the position one by one and then we're gonna change position two by minus one okay so because position two is coming from the back right position one is coming to the front so we're comparing the front let's say step on pets right so so position one is s position two is s so they're gonna compare this is it the same uh yes they're the same so they'll move on to the next one so the position one will increase to t right and then now position two has to go back right so it's gonna minus one right so we t and then this go forward again and this is going back again so that's why you have position one going forward position two going backward okay so next we're gonna say 
and we're gonna put it here okay so here we're gonna say it is so if it's everything is correct all the way to the end then it is a palindrome okay so that's it so that is our code so let's try it out so let's take out some of these things here so that we can block some of the words so we can use it okay all right so let's zoom back out so this is the code for the uh, cat on the palindrome check and then this is the code for the removing the spaces okay so let's try this cat okay so let's enter a number or a letter okay let's say one two three three two one right so you see that one two three three two one is a palindrome is a number right we can click on the cat again we can say uh, maybe nine one one nine right nine one one nine right that's a palindrome so if I say one two three four five six right that's not right so I we'll enter it's not a palindrome you see that okay so now that is working fine the numbers working fine now let's check out the letters so let's say kayak okay so kayak palindrome right let's say taco cat okay so taco cat palindrome so this one uh, what is good about this uh, check here even though we're checking uh, it actually ignore the spaces you, I mean ignore the capital letter so you can see T and T it only checks the uh, checks it as the same so that's good so scratch does that but uh, other uh, project I mean other language it might not do that so you might have to convert it to lowercase or something but scratch is fine they check it so they saying T capital T and lowercase T is the same thing so let's try one step not on pets right step not on pets is a palindrome right no lemon no melon right so those are palindrome so if I type in how how are you right so that is not a palindrome because you cannot read backward right for how are you so that's it that is the uh, algorithm uh, for palindrome check uh, using scratch I hope you guys like the uh, video if so, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thank you. Bye-bye.